Hello YouTube, this is Shunting Steve back again. Now you might have noticed that on my YouTube channel I removed my old Hornby Thomas and Friends review videos. That is because I was caught up in a lot of work and university work. So now that I finished that, I decided that I would remove all those videos and start again because now I have a lot more time on my hands, I have a lot more models and I thought I would uh, go into more detail about the models because previously my model reviews were only about one to two minutes long. I thought I'd start off with the latest model from Hornby which is actually a re-release and it is Hornby Spencer so I'll just open this up Wow, there's a cardboard box behind this. There we go. Now I know some people on the Hornby forums have already got their Spencer locomotive and they said that it is identical to the 2008 release. But we'll just see. Oh yeah, I can see it right there. Wow, there it is. Now it is in the new style box that was uh, released last year when Murdoch and Dart were released with the CGI Thomas logo here. The only difference is between this and the releases last year is that there is a limited edition flap right here which can obviously be taken off. Limited edition of 1000. DCC ready. That is the only difference between this version and the 2008 version. The 2008 version was completely analogue. All you need for this is to just fit the chip in and away you go. Now there's no certificate by the sounds of it from what someone has said on the Hornby forum which is surprising for a limited edition there is no certificate saying congratulations on having one of these limited edition models there isn't even a number out of a thousand of what it is and labelled there say Spencer limited production which is pretty cool Here are the characters on the back. Now it's strange, Emily was actually discontinued last year, at the end of last year or the beginning of this year. So I'm not sure why she's on it unless they're thinking of bringing Emily back. And that's the only thing I've got to say about the uh, box. Instructions here, which is basically just based on a, a four locomotive, what Spencer is. Now, Spencer was first introduced in the Tom, Thomas and Friends television series in Season 7, Episode 15, Something Fishy, which was actually a cameo appearance. It was fully introduced in Season 7, Episode 23, named Gordon and Spencer. Now, Spencer came to the island of Sodor to take the Duke and Duchess of Boxford on a tour around the island, because Spencer is the Duke and Duchess of Boxford's private engine. Spencer is an arrogant engine who thinks he's better than everybody else. That's the only thing to say about him. Spencer and Gordon built a, a rivalry as Gordon is known to be the fastest engine on Sodor and Spencer being the fastest engine on, in the world because Spencer is based on an LNER class A4 Pacific which is the same locomotive, well same class of locomotive as Mallard, Sir Nigel Gresley, Empire of India Sparrowhawk, Bitten, just to name a few. And Mallard, the Mallard, was the fastest steam locomotive in the world. It reached 125.88 to be exact, if, if I remember correctly. Some people just say 126. But it's roughly around that. Now, the A4 locomotives were designed for the London and North Eastern Railways in 1935. 
Overall, there were 35 locomotives of this class, which were built to pull passenger, passenger trains between London and King's Cross to Edinburgh. Only six A4 locomotives now exist, and they are all preserved. I believe that in 2014, correct me if I'm wrong on this, all six surviving A4 locomotives will be held at the National Railway Museum together in York, in the United Kingdom. Now, I'll, it's strange because there's um, obviously a, a plastic cover here, which normally the Hornby models have. They have a completely white cardboard sheet to block out the sun. My dart, my dart model is exactly the same as well. There's no white sheet to block the sun out. And for some reason there's sellotape around it, which is going to be a bit of a bugger. Uh, I really should have brought some scissors with me on this. Just use this. There we go. Now I did own the 2008 version, but I decided to sell it on because I thought I would move to Engage after I did that. I did make £50 profit on the model by the way, but after I did sell it and I got the entire Thomas range in Engage, I decided against it because I didn't really like Engage in the end. Wow. So that's the that's Spencer there, the main locomotive. Now Spencer is um, loco driven and not tender driven. There's his happy face there. cab detail which is pretty good you might not see it on oh, you might not see it very well but yeah I remember the 2008 model perfectly and it is identical completely identical to the 2008 version apart from this version being DCC ready now if it and just get the tender out. That would be great. I was really excited when Hornby announced that Spencer will be coming back. I'm looking forward to getting Spencer's coaches as well. Why Spencer was released as a limited edition and his coaches weren't would be on me. And there's the tender. This is wheels. And the side. There we go. Now if we put Spencer completely together, that's what he looks like. Very nice model by Hornby. Possibly my favourite Hornby Thomas and Friends locomotive. It is a really nice model. I would definitely recommend it. The only criticism I have about the Spencer model is the colour of the driving wheels, which should really match the cover, the colour of the um, delivery of Spencer. I paid £79.99 for this. The recommended retail price is actually £99.99. £99. I would rate Spencer a 10 out of 10. Really nice model. I've seen the Simierski review of Hornby vs Batman and he is a very good puller. He could haul a lot of coaches. I would really recommend this model for any Thomas and Friends modeler. And I 
and glad to be able to actually get a hold of a limited edition version of Spencer. 10 out of 10, this is Shunting Steve signing off.